Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest, where apparently- Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, 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 um, pups? Pups? What the heck? That was totally unfair! Holy cow, we didn't even have like a minute to be able to be like, Hey, welcome back, I hope everybody's doing well, here's all seven of the puppies. Persephone! You amazing, amazing meet you! She is chasing those, like, coyote away. She was not going to let them go ahead and eat our pups. And look at Apollo. Apollo is like, nope, I'm not getting eaten today. I'm going to be hiding. I am not going to be involved in, in being consumed by, you know, the cycle of life and the coyotes here. Holy cow, you guys! I really thought that that was going to be it. It has been a little bit since we have been able to be with Achilles because I actually lost my voice for a couple days and need to be very careful with it today too so that we can go ahead and celebrate with all of our puppies. You guys, oh, good job pups. I'm so glad you were all doing well, holy cow. Oh, Apollo is still hiding. I think Apollo might be extremely cautious or he might be a little scared, it's hard to tell. Are you doing okay, Bonnie? Are you sleeping? Is he just napping? I think he's sleeping, you guys. He's hiding and taking a nap. How ridiculously cute is that? So Apollo is just sleeping the day away, kind of hiding away. In fact, now I think maybe he wasn't scared from the coyotes. I wonder if he actually just ended up like sleeping through that entire thing. And let's check out how the weight on all of our pups is currently going because we are so close, so close to finishing Achilles and Persephone's generation with their pups. Oh my goodness. And we still have all seven of them. My heart, I am so, so glad that they have survived this long and hopefully knock on wood, they will make it all the way to adulthood. And Achilles is going to be known as one of the most successful of any of the wolves that we've ever had in the moon pack. I mean, we've all, oh, seriously, we've never had any of our wolves raise seven puppies to adulthood before. So our little runt, Achilles, he just might pull it off. How freaking sweet is that? And Demeter is coming over to play. Oh, Alicia, you need to be careful. I know you're curious about like where the coyotes came from, but seriously, you, you need to stay close to everybody. All right, so let's see who needs to do the growing before we're actually ready to to celebrate all of our pups going ahead and growing up. So Hades, as usual, is our chonker leading the way. He actually is not at, like a lot bigger than a lot of his siblings anymore because Artemis, Demeter, and Circe, and even Jalan have all made it up to 18 pounds, and Alicia and Apollo are nearly there themselves. So they're really going to do fantastic at being able to get some good growing going and let's see how is our territory doing right now our territory is not the worst it could be a little bit better but we really have like pushed our way into quite a bit of the territory around here i think we might want to go down south today and maybe strengthen up our territory to the south a little perhaps bring back yet another elk or deer calf uh, or fawn because the puppies are eating these pretty quickly, but the moose calf actually still has a lot on it. I am so impressed at Achilles. He's been doing so much really great hunting too. And he's getting a little hungry himself. So I think we might go ahead and have the pups. Yes, since the pups are getting a, just a tiny bit tired, they could probably use a bit of a nap. Let's go ahead and get them all in where they're supposed to be. Demeter is just the one who's being a little bit stubborn, so let's come down and grab her. Demeter, come on, dear. All right, come here, come here, come here. We gotta pick you up. All right, so we'll grab Demeter and put her down. And Demeter, you go ahead. <laughs> oh, Achilles has gotten so good at being like a really, oh, hey, Persephone, at being a really good dad and guiding the pups where they need to go. And now we're gonna head out south. Since the pups just need to rest and become a little bit stronger, we'll go try to find them some more food. Since Achilles', Achilles goal is to get all of these puppies to adulthood without losing any of them, a pretty hard one, especially because he actually rolled to be on challenging today yet again. I am so amazed that he continually ends up with these roles that are extremely challenging, and yet he's still doing so fantastic. 
very proud of him. Also, what's this? What's this? Moose! There were moose afoot. I wonder if the moose happens to have a moose calf with it. <gasps> oh, hey! It's a mama! We didn't even have to go that far! Okay, let's go ahead and we're going to do a little bit of searching. And when we find the right patch of grass, then this mother mule deer will actually rush us. But this is really good. We already, like, so close. Oh, hello, you two. We're already so close to potentially finding another fawn that we can take back to the puppies. I am not going to turn that down because Achilles' whole goal is to raise those babies. Whereas his sister, Parsley, is also trying to find a way to be able to make her mark on a whole bunch of other territories. I don't think Achilles cares so much about being able to, like, raise the, the fame of the moon pack by claiming a bunch of territory as much as he's like, look, I've got so many kids right now. Did you just leave? That was the mom, wasn't it? Did she just nope off? What? What? Did she trick us? Did she trick us and there was no fawn involved? That is not fair. I really wanted to be able to find more food. Easy food to bring back for our pups, but I guess that's the case. Yeah, look, she's way over here now. Huh. I mean, we could just chase her south a little bit, but... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Man, these open meadows are so great. Oh, that's a rock. It looked like an elk. <laughs> Poor Achilles. Maybe he's a little more tired than I was giving him credit for. Because I legitimately thought that that was just like a rock. That we could go ahead and... Or that, that was like an elk. And we were about to find like an elk calf hiding in the grass. Alas, that was not the case. All right, well, let's go ahead and we'll start marking some of our territory. And we'll see if we can get Persephone to come and follow us. Let's see, because she's still back at the den. And we could use her help with a bit of hunting, probably. All right. Let's do this. So what do we smell around here? Yeah, that mule deer, but I don't know if we really need to bother hunting her. Especially if we're a little bit tired. And, I mean, she is kind of close to the den, so that could have been useful for being able to maybe just drag back pieces of meat to the den. But, what's this? Territory of the scent, or the dark lake pack. Mule deer going this way. Foxes, or coyotes, out and about. Hmm, quite a few coyotes out and about. I wonder why. All right, and how far do we need to go? Just a little bit further south to go ahead and strengthen up our territory. So we'll do that, and then we will search the grasses for hopefully some more fawns, because Achilles has been doing really great with being able to find them and bring them back to his family. All right. Oh, what's that? Hey, lucky rabbit's foot. I wouldn't mind having a snack. And there's another rock that I thought was an elk, like, with her head down eating. I guess we stole that rabbit from that hawk. That's a little silly. That's what you get for trying to eat our pup's hawk. Okay, let's see what we can find today. Elk herd nearby. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Mother and baby? You can smell that? Mother and baby herd. Oh! <gasps> The elk herd has babies with it? What? You can smell like when it's a mix of like a mother and baby herd? Okay, those are not baby. <laughs> These are not baby elk. Just saying. Absolutely not baby elk here. However, it does look like there is a very extremely concerned um, elk nearby. Phew! All right, let's continue on. Mother and baby elk herd just now. Interesting. Well, where's your baby? So they were literally... Wait, mother and baby elk herd? Then where's the baby? Okay, Persephone is coming to join us. Huh. Is she wounded? 
Okay, this cow elk is not wounded, but she's making for a really easy kill because she's just like standing right here. So let's take her down, Persephone. Interesting. There we go. It would have been a little nicer. Oh, she can really kick. If we had been able to... Here, let's step back and get our energy back for just a second. If we'd been able to find an elk baby, but I'm not going to complain. I wonder, like, where all the babies have gone? It kind of feels like all of the, the fawns and the calves have disappeared for a minute. And then this female right here got a little confused. Alright, let's get her. She seems like an upset mother. That must be one of the reasons that she's got such a powerful kick, too. Alright, we're going to need to give her just a teeny bit of space. Come on, Persephone. Is she trying to stick near a baby somewhere near here? Like, did the bison actually walk up and mess with, like, where her baby was hiding? That might be what happened. I actually saw from one of you guys... Oh, here she goes. Now she's on the run. One of you guys that you actually lost a couple wolf pups because the bison ended up showing up and just walked right over your wolf pups. That just sounds so terrifying. Like, how would you how would you try to like convince the bison to back off and leave your baby alone? All right, this is definitely maybe a distraught mother elk. She's very strong. We actually have taken a lot of kicks now. And I need to be a little bit more careful with Achilles. Alright, come on Achilles. However, at least this will fill up Persephone and Achilles and we can bring back some of the meat for our pups. So, alright, come on, come on. You guys have got this. Don't give up now. Oh, good job Persephone. It's been really hard, but we've really worked with Persephone to be able to get her. Yes! Woo! We've worked really hard with Persephone to be able to get her to the point, whoops, sorry about that, where she can do these hunts with us. However, I think the grief that the the mother elk had definitely left a few bruises on our poor boy Achilles. Alright Achilles, you go ahead and eat up. What? And now there's the sound of like, hey there's a baby elk somewhere nearby going on. Huh. Maybe we'll go ahead and search around a little bit before we leave, because I'm kind of curious about that now. Alright, back off, crows. Jeez, you guys. It's our food. Alright, let's go ahead and get a chunk of meat. And then technically we could run back and forth, back and forth. Where did, where did Persephone go? Oh, she's right behind us. There we go. We could run back and forth with some of these meat chunks. Oh! There's a mother deer right over here. That means that somewhere around this chaos that we just caused might be a fawn. All right, let's go ahead and search carefully. Ah, it's harder in the forest, but a fawn would be a much better meal than just a meat chunk to bring back to our babies. All right, where oh where is the next grass patch? It doesn't seem like there's too many places that this mother deer could have left her baby. But where'd the deer go again? Oh, she's right down here. Okay, if the deer is over here, how many spots could she have left her baby in? There's a bunch of other mule deer. There's a elk. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. Was there something over here? No. Ah, it's so hard, you guys. You think that you're going to be able just to discover, like, the fawns and the calves hiding out and about in easy places. Oh, wait, here's a patch. This has to be it, because there's just, like, ah, no. All right, that's it. The bison have actually scared all of the babies. That is that is now my, my personal assessment. The bison have scared off the babies. All right. And now we need to actually find where our kill is so I can get the meat from it to give our puppies. Hey, Persephone. All right, where is our, our kill? Oh, jeez! I was only gone for like two seconds. 
Persephone! What the heck, Persephone? Oh my gosh, and the crow carcass is like almost gone already. Persephone, we don't need to fight a mother bear. Okay, let's get out of here. All right, so there are a lot of really tough mothers and very aggressive bison out and about right now. So I think we're just gonna take the success of what we've got. Were those cougars or coyotes? Thank goodness, and those were the coyotes. I was worried we ran into like some more cougars. Oh my gosh, that would just be too much. But we're just gonna take the success of what we have right now, and then we're gonna go and have a good nap because I can't believe Persephone tried to take on like a freaking bear. And apparently there's babies all over the place. We should be tripping over the fawns from the sound of it, but I just can't seem to find them. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna head back home. We're going to drop off the food that we have got. And look at that, 19 pounds. Yes, and all of our babies are now at least 18 pounds. So we're getting closer and closer to being able to make Achilles' dream happen to being able to um, have all of his pups survive to adulthood, which would be extremely amazing. And then we'll have to see if we'll be able to work on his mate's dream of having some territory where we keep the puppies right next to a pond. Maybe we'll think about that next time because I really love this grassy plateau for being able to hunt all of the fawns and calves in. It makes it much easier to see where the grass is. So we'll play with that idea and we'll see where things take us next time. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for Achilles and Persephone doing a great job at really bonding and becoming better and better mates, and for the fact that they've kept all their pups alive so far. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye